the first time, people wondered what the political repercussions would be. This year's Ryder Cup aroused an unusual amount of interest. First of all, there was a bit of a kerfuffle about clubs, but in fact the whole affair was beautifully organised with caddies wearing numbers to help identification. Here's Palmer of the United States driving off first in the foursomes. Dennis Compton was among the spectators, and he saw Jay Adams make the first stroke for Britain. Dick Burton was in form, he and Lee's getting home by one hole. Two other British pairs won their matches. All in all, it had been a very good day for Great Britain. We were ahead by three to one, and the spectators eagerly marked up their cards, hoping for success in the singles next day. But it was not to be. Demoret of America beat Arthur Lees of Great Britain, and Mangrum of America beat Daly. Not that the visitors had everything their own way, here's Sam Sneed in a spot of bother. Only two Americans were beaten in the singles, and Di Rees put paid to one of them. Di played beautiful golf and never faltered on the way to his six and four victory. But America won the Ryder Cup again by seven to five, and it was Lord Wardington who presented the cup to America's captain. Have you ever seen a better match? The Americans had outplayed us on one of our own Tiger courses, and Ben Hogan paid this graceful tribute to the British team. The breaks, however, were not in their favor, and had they been, I'm quite sure the result would have been reversed. The Duke of Edinburgh and E.D.R.